What's up, everybody? It's the Eerie Lord. I say that with a bit of a laugh because some really crazy things have been going on this afternoon. And finally, I kind of have some clarification as to what's been going on. Oh, that's lovely. Wadham Juggalo's online. It's not like I haven't seen... I've seen Wadham Juggalo in like 20 years. Let's put our preferences to busy so I can say what I want to say and not be interrupted. Um, is this video off-angled? Yeah, it probably is because I've been moving my freaking TV so much. Um, I should be fine. Basically, um, this afternoon, if you haven't seen the hunt, like the two videos I put out, I purchased, and I mentioned this in a couple of update videos, I purchased an Elgato game capture device, okay? An HD recording device, I will show it on camera just to prove that I actually bought it. Right here, right here, Elgato, I don't know if you can see it, there it is, alright? It's literally, I can put this fucking thing in my pocket, I can pretend I'm talking to my cell phone with this thing, it's literally, literally, I'm going to show you this, this comparison, which is pretty cool. It's like the size of my, this is my iPod right here, and this is the Elgato. It's like almost the same size. It's pretty ridiculous that something like this can capture gameplay from a PlayStation 3 and 360. Now, I got this thing this afternoon. I did an unboxing video of it. I uploaded the unboxing video, and I immediately started trying to hook the thing up to my PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and attach a USB cable to the computer, because as you know, or I don't know if you do know this, but the Elgato game capture device is USB powered. You take a USB plug, you plug it into the thing, and you connect it to your computer. And then an image is displayed on the, commu uh, on the computer. You have software that you download from the website, which is free by the way. You download the software and then whatever, once you have everything plugged in on your 360 and PS3, that image is then translated to the software th uh, through the USB cable, okay? Now, I, I'm going to be quite honest because most people have already probably seen the big rant video that's on the main page of my channel, which I might delete that video because I've figured out everything. There's no need to yell or anything. Basically, um, I figured out why the thing wasn't working. I was having a lot of problems. I was attaching it to my PS3. I watched like multiple, like five videos and I was like confused and I'm like oh this isn't explaining anything you know how do I get it into the HDMI slot it's not in the wrong slot you know what cord do you need for this PlayStation 3 doesn't accept HDMI on the on the on the video settings and it won't work and blah 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 but the, you know what actually when I attached it from the 360 to my computer I had it working it was working you could see the display on the 3 on my PC but then my PC started to slow down. I was like, holy shit, like the thing started to lag. And then on the Xbox, the screen was flashing. Like the Xbox screen was like flash, flash, flash. And I'm like, whoa, you know, why is, why is my Xbox screen flashing right now? And, um, you know, I, I didn't really understand because it was going from, you know, the Xbox had no signal to, oh, now the Xbox has a signal. And I'm like, well, what the hell's going on? Like, I don't understand what's happening here. I basically was flipping out and I made a vi like a seven minute video of me explaining my settings. I asked people, you know, what was wrong with my settings, you know, am I doing something wrong? I think I have something plugged in wrong. My settings don't match other people's settings. I'm going crazy right now. So I basically called tech support two times. The first time I got some freaking woman who I'll admit wasn't very helpful. She was like, oh, I don't think you are putting plug into right slot. And I'm like, all right, I can't fucking take this. So I just hung up and tried to figure it out again didn't work. I called again and I actually got like a guy in his mid 20s. We had a good hour long discussion and I basically figured out the problem through him. The problem, you want to know what the problem is? My stupid freaking laptop, okay? Yes, my laptop which I've owned for 5 going on 6 years and most people are going to say, "Oh shit, well that's obviously the problem." Now I didn't know the display on my TV was contingent upon the computer because my main concern, I pretty much knew that my PC wouldn't be able to handle it, but I wanted to get everything set up. I wanted the Elgato device to be connected to the PlayStation and the Xbox and work so that when I get my new computer, which I'll be getting in a couple of weeks, I could hook it up and have no problems and then I could just start, the, you know, and I could start and just start gameplay and, you know, kind of just go from there. And one thing that I was told by the guy on tech support was that the image on your 360 and your PlayStation 3 will not show up if your computer cannot display it. So earlier in this video, I just told you, 
I had my 360 hooked up to the Elgato device and I had it displayed on my PC and it was on the software and I'm like holy shit it actually works but then my PlayStation and but then my my yeah my my Xbox 360 not my PlayStation 3 my Xbox 360 started to lag and it started flashing a black screen my computer was slowing down I'm like what the hell's going on that's why the screen was flashing my computer doesn't have a processor and it doesn't have enough RAM and hard drive space to support what's going on on the screen. Now I didn't know this. I did not know that my Xbox would be so contingent on the status of my PC so that it's to the point where my 360 won't even display an image if the PC is not working because you all of the HD stuff is going through the device because you're basically taking an HDMI cable and plugging it from the th either the PlayStation 3 or the 360, you're taking it from the, either console, you're putting it into the Elgato device, then from the Elgato device you're going into your TV, but then from the Elgato device it's going to your PC. So it has to, from going into the Elgato device, it has to connect to your PC. And it has to have some sort of signal. And, and the way the guy on the phone said it, everything starts with your PC. So if something's fucked up with your PC, you're not going to get anything on your 360, which is kind of weird, because what if I just want to play casually? You know, what happens if I just want to fuck around with a couple of friends for a couple hours? I don't want to have to open my computer and do all this, you know, cumbersome stuff. And, you know, it might kind of suck. Maybe I can find a workaround for it, but I'm getting a Macintosh computer. I'm going to be getting a MacBook Pro in a couple of months. And I know some people are like, oh, you should get a custom built computer. I don't know anyone who makes custom, you know, custom computers. And I don't know anybody who I could trust to make a custom computer. Actually, listen, my computer just freaking huffed and puffed. Like, this thing's dying. This thing is an old man, an 80 year old man coughing off its last breath. I don't know if anyone knows this. But every single video I've ever uploaded on YouTube has been uploaded with that stupid laptop. I used to have a, a regular computer that ran Windows XP, but that computer shit the bed. Then I upgraded to a laptop in 2007, and this thing's starting to shit the bed. It's time for an upgrade. And this, I should have probably done this last year, so when I got this game device now, this wouldn't be a problem. And I probably would have saved myself a lot of aggravation and a lot of unnecessary, you know, complaining that I basically did today in that one video. So let me just say that I'm very sorry for, for complaining about this device. I didn't mean to insult it. I'm very excited to be starting to use it. Elgato, I'm very glad they actually had customer support because if they didn't have customer support, I'd be caught with my pants down. I wouldn't know what the fuck I was doing. At this point, I'd probably be cursing and swearing and breaking the device. Now I know it's not the device. It's not the cables. Because I actually, at one point, I thought the cables were broken and that it was their fault. So it's not the cables, it's not the device, it's my computer. Windows 7, my shitty Vista 2006 computer, which I've had to reinstall shit three times. I stayed up till like midnight talking to some woman in India because the computer wouldn't shut down properly. This thing is a sack of turd. And I need to get a new computer, I'm well aware of this. It will be coming in the next couple of weeks. I don't know how soon. But because of this, I'm not able to use the Elgato device. I'm sorry, but I can't use it until I get my new computer because this computer just does not work with it. I attach it, the computer crashes, and then I can't get anything to display on my TV here. So there's no point. I can't. You need the computer to record. In order to record HD gameplay, I need to be hitting the record button on my computer. I need a microphone that attaches to my computer so I can talk into it to do live commentary. That's how I'm going to get the HD gameplay. It's not like I'm doing, I'm just sitting right now in a regular chair, a uh, chair, what the hell, am I like French or something? <laughs> a chair. I'm sitting in a chair right now talking to a camera with the camera displaying, you know, just zoomed in, just looking at my TV screen. I don't need to talk into a microphone in a low voice so you hear me and I sound monotone like James Earl Jones. I don't need to do that. I can just talk regularly to a camera. I don't need to do any sorts of fancy dancy motions or anything like I'll have to do for Elgato, but that's good. People like professional quality like that. My fans have been absolutely yearning for me to get an HD device. Finally, I have it, but I should have known from the start that 
a computer is required for a device like this. I was greedy because as I just told you, I've uploaded over 3,000 videos on this computer. Honestly, the videos upload fine. I didn't think I would have a problem with this device, but I guess I overestimated my computer and its hard drive space and what it can do. Because again, I when I was on the phone with customer support, I explained to the guy, the guy's like, all right, name your hard drive, your RAM, your dual processor, name all of that. Just tell me it all up front. And I did, and he's like, okay, you pretty much just proved to me that your computer can't handle our software and it's going to fucking crash. And, I, and he asked me, he's like, does it crash? And I said, well, actually, it did when I was using the 360. And he said, that's why. So, all right, so this, I, didn't, I don't want this video to go long. It's already in 11 minutes. I just want to make it to explain to you that the, that the Elgato, I'm not going to be doing HD recordings until I get my Mac. I'm going to try my very hardest to buy my Mac as soon as possible. I need to go shopping with family members and stuff so we can get the perfect model and stuff. There's a lot that's going to go into it. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing HD footage yet. So I'm sure you guys can survive a week or two with the camera. The camera's not horrible. I still get great quality with it. I've uploaded most of my footage, and I have over 2,000 subscribers and over 400,000 channel views centered around using this camera. So it's not like it's a failure, but the HD recording definitely helps, okay? So that's it. I am out of breath, and I want to upload this video to just let everyone know what's been going on. So that's it. On the Air Raid Lord, thank you for watching. Unfortunately, the Elgato footage is going to be delayed until I get my Mac, but I will give you guys updates whenever I have them, and we'll go from there. So thank you. This has been a crazy day, I know, but I'll hopefully this video will explain what I needed to. Thank you. Good night. Au revoir. Couldn't talk. Whatever.